Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Mark and Steve here, and Steve's going to tell us a little bit more about Symphonica Pro 10 uh, happiness. Yes, I like to always find better workflows uh, for editors, people that come through our studio. We have a particular set of uh, things that have to happen before a movie is output. Um, if we have a freelancer or maybe an intern and we have them working on a project, we, we just need a, a good to-do list for them. So nothing is missed before the movie gets uploaded. So you uploaded. have a big binder you hand them that they take <laughs> out and they flip through. Yes, we use a big analog binder with like, uh, <laughs> the big Sharpie. I figure you've so, probably got a better way. Yeah, there is a better way. And uh, let's, let's take a look. In Final Cut Pro, we use a watermark, what we call a bug. And I placed it in an event called Constance. I'll talk about what, why I called it Constance in a moment. But notice as I select it, you can see over here in the viewer, it's just our watermark. The Ripple logo in right. the corner, probably low opacity. Right. So the first thing is, you'll notice that I've added markers along the top. Mm -hmm. These are to-do markers. In fact, let me switch the view so you can see. And if I spill open, you can see that I've created to-do markers every 30 frames on this bug. Like here, you can see normalize audio, add fades, add title mm -hmm. graphic, check highlight levels, reset project time code to one hour, add chapter markers, then upload to frame IO. It's like your, your checklist of it's, what needs to get done. It's my checklist. Uh -huh. and, and because, and, and this is the key, because ripple bugs or watermarks have to be added to every single timeline, there's no possible way the uh, checklist or the to-do list won't show up in the project. Yeah. Right there in the timeline. That's yeah. right. Now, I'm using it on a watermark, but it could be a piece of music. Maybe you're a uh, piece of intro music that you're using week in and week yes. out. Uh, you can put your to-do markers on that. Point is, it needs to be constant, which is why I created an event called Constance. So that bug will always be there because we do, let's say we'll have all of our map breaks, you know, maybe hundreds of them. Right. So our intern will sit down and know where to find the bug in the Constance event. So that'll, that's sort of like a template event yes. that, that's always available. That's right. And if you did multiple libraries, you could have a library that's just a, a template library. That could do it that way as well. That or any other things that you may, re reusable elements could be in there as well as your markers. That's right. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna, in fact, I'll just go ahead and set this up as a three-point edit. Go to the end and... So I've got in and out point, and uh, I'm going to clear any in, in, ins and out points first, because if you don't start your end point at the beginning, the markers won't be included. Right. Right. So I'm going to press Q, and notice it puts the bug there, and you can see it over yep. here superimposed over the picture, and my markers appear right at the beginning every 30 seconds. Now, what I'm going to do is go over to, in the tags area, I'm going to select this item here, so which is... So to-dos and the timeline index. My, right. My mm -hmm. to-dos and my timeline index. It doesn't even matter that you can see them in the it timeline. It doesn't matter where they All are. All that matters timeline. is that, okay, I've gone through here and whatever, I've, I've normalized the audio. Okay, whatever that means. Maybe that's adding a, a limiter or a compressor, what have you. So I just go over here and just click, and it's already been added to the to done. Completed, to completed. To the completed. Right. And you can see it's a, it's, it's a green marker now. So it's pretty simple. And then, then the intern or, or, the, or the freelancer will come and say, oh, I add title graphic. Hey, look at this. I've added a title graphic. There it is. I've already done that. Don't you know, click it. The, it's gone. I actually just click it once and it's gone. Okay. okay so now the next thing, click, done, click, done, click, done, click, done. And when they're all green, you're ready you to got, output. So so, and you've got two visual indicators. One is that your to-do list is empty. And the second, there's no red markers on that uh, clip in your timeline. That's right. Nice. It's a simple nice. thing, but it's nice to have the to-do list that's there that they yeah. can check off. It's part of it's part of the UI. Yeah. You don't have to be you don't have to put it on a three ring binder or use your or, iPhone or, 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 or usually like the sticky note, you know, on your screen, yeah. the little boxes or something. It's just built right into the project. Right. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. Really, really cool. Nice little tip. I think so. Thanks, awesome. Travis and uh, Spencer. Yeah. Well, you got a good team. Yeah. Hope you guys found that useful. I sure did. Ripple training, who we are, tutorials, and plugins for Funica Pro, Motion DaVinci Resolve. Please come check us out here next week at MacBreak Studio.